ahay di series lima pembiaya akwa ahad ya later dan hot news akwa era mede bravo anu ti sewu dan subscribe ya umodi ase obe subscribe to the channel do be ane se obe klik ya re subscribe pat sino na wa bele notification we are sa new video dia be upload no when the first person also be ka ya video ase wu ya na wa like video no give us a thumbs up thumbs up na fi Shema of a frost now when you be here now who and some are a cosu a wogana memo. A fee your bura a year a summer a bed over your cosu. It is a year's story about it. It is as if you feel now and I'm so a man as if you feel charming right on about a banner suman a kingsford bagman. Why any say? I'm not sure if you do me what to edia say who named that crow best I ever be a moon seminal edi di musa who could pay more court to battle supreme court now seven who could pay more supreme court to know and the video for and so it now so a supreme court ba a band with any mame to kono and another chess at wadano na come on to train the children who tell him say nipa and so it now so the moon as say i'm not sure if you hear me the genius you see you know and fun a quamu and the moon you say genius yeah i'm not sure if you hear me see you know now and then i'll come up a pepe i didn't know so i grow no yeah the mother do and Di enti nipa enu se jina isi amasi ba jofie chama nenda na kuamu ana chese omo mo di ano eno mo di ba yejuma eno tinu mo jina aso kache amasi ba jofie chama se jina isi awasi se amasi ba jofie jua enai bu ohodo mo a bibinti yaka so mo jina amanyoku omo omo ene edi mo eti na amasi ba jofie ohodo mo a enye yono se jina isi yono wansan dani ni biem na enye se ni ana etie kani yono na aso se amasi ba jofie chama nenda ba yejuma se wamfu ni yejuma gana fu ewo chenye mo na eno ena enkani supreme court judge justice william matu Guba and then central for Cassan and Wood Tim say. Dina is here Supreme Court, yes, you know, a Yemra, a Yemra Procope, Ghana, a court to battle Supreme Court, Onya Casape, Nababa Yemra, and Untine and somewhere from Supreme Court for Abba. Namas, what you fear, Chamis, will crum how, so when you crum how to move, one Cassan from Fahono, say Bribison, Nasa Supreme Court to Huni, some as what you fear, Chamis, and I say few court to buy and one fine year, Juma, and a number of your fear, Chamber, or bit more them when I ye, or quack with them Susudia, not just a one year channel, could I want them with Fiasi and Chacrano, not a year ten years, a son. Se emra kasa emra so kasa eni wabuso ubu mna so so diya nene ye chunga so eni wabu kwa kodem resi bejo eni wabu kwa kodem fi ase eni fi siya pole 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 beye edu eni tini justice william atuguba edi etuja se jina isi akotu diya bano mra si bejo fi echa me wunye nu yesu wabaka se medi beye juma anase me mfenye juma emra no diye abba emra so na kasa nunti mra kasa diya na eye se wudi eye juma eni wafu eni mwese eni mwani miye eni mra si bejo fi echa me jina isi a wosie manu kopi emu supreme court a kotu swa dani se jina isi eno and yes, sir, contempt of court, a better no contempt of court, and so china and any nephew, I say, if you shall pull up, you do, and I must have your future, me, or the quack with ye. Yeah, but until the decision is challenged, this yeah. is what we will have to live with. What do we expect yeah. the Speaker of Parliament to do? Oh, in the face of this decision, mm -hmm. well, uh, uh, he's bound by the decision of the Supreme Court, he's bound by it. I have heard the member of parliament for Savdai, yes. Rosin Dafi Ameko. Yes. He makes the point that mm. only parliament can give an effect to the mm. decision mm. by the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Is he right? Oh, of course it's addressed to them. But it doesn't mean that if they fail to comply, they are the only people who can. Uh, that's true question. <laughs> there are processes. Mm -hmm. um, contempt is there, and it's a high crime. Uh, can be prosecuted. And uh, you have to suffer imprisonment uh, up to 10 years. That is if the court decision is not complied with. Yes, up to 10 years. It's not necessarily 10 years, but you must just, there's no option of a fine. Mm -hmm. You must just suffer some term of imprisonment, not exceeding 10 years. Mm. And not only that, 10 years disqualification from holding public office. Now, one would have thought that any court at all, which is part of the judiciary, can exercise all the, <laughs> the jurisdictions, mm. civil and criminal matters, because the powers are given to the judiciary. Right. They are part of the judiciary. Mm. But that's where the complexity comes, because as you go further down, you see, as uh, Moisechi J explained in some case, Martin, in the 80s, now, yes, this power is there. It's given to the judiciary. But the power has been shared out mm, mm. to the various branches of the judiciary. Mm. So it doesn't mean that 
once you are a part of the judicial car, exercise all those powers, because they've been distributed. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you exercise them according to the allocation distributed to you. You see the complexity there. Right. And so when you look at the blanket statement, uh, judicial shall have uh, jurisdiction of all mm -hmm. criminal mm -hmm. matters. And the judiciary is uh, stated in terms of the court system. And I look at it, I say, oh, any court at all can exercise all those words. Mm. But as I said, the subsequent provisions are there. The, the, the question people are asking is whether the Supreme Court yes. erred in going into this case at all. That's what I'm coming to. Mm -hmm. uh, that if you look at <coughs> Article 130, clauses 1 and 2, and Article 2, uh, if you read those um, on the, their face, the vast exclusive jurisdiction concerning the interpretation and enforcement of the Constitution. Mm. You know, exclusive jurisdiction, except in the fundamental human rights. Mm. So, Prime Minister, you think that in all matters concerning interpretation and enforcement, except when it comes to fundamental human rights, the Supreme Court uh, can interpret and enforce any matter, however arising. Mm -hmm. That's where the trouble comes. Not however arising, because uh, <laughs> the subsequent provisions, for example, have given uh, jurisdiction to the High Court in parliamentary elections, right. including this question of vacancy. Mm -hmm. They've given it to the High Court. Right. Notwithstanding Article 130, notwithstanding Article 2. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Then also, you look at chieftaincy, uh, jurisdiction and chieftaincy matters. The Constitution has set up the system of chieftaincy tribunals, mm -hmm. the highest being national tribunal. The ordinary courts are excluded from handling chieftaincy matters except when they get to the National House of Chiefs, you are not satisfied, you apply for leave mm -hmm. from the National House to appeal to the Supreme Court, right. only Supreme Court. Mm. If they refuse, you can apply for leave from the Supreme Court. If you fail, that, that's the end of it. So in this case, you, your, your thinking is that the, the High Court should have handled this matter? That is it. But, the, but, 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 so but, but, the, but this was a matter that was that, that invited the Supreme Court to interpret. So the High Court is not clothed with that powers. Yes. <laughs> There's complexity still. Uh, the, when a matter like this comes up, <clears throat> now I'm saying this because I said it before. Right. And so I'm only saying that I'm standing by what I said. Mm. When they give the reasons tomorrow and I feel persuaded, I can call and say, oh, <laughs> you did well. <laughs> I was wrong. You can do that. But for the meantime, that you have come, the best time would have been tomorrow mm. <laughs> after there are reasons. Mm. Then we'll do. Uh, <coughs> the same constitution is not unaware mm. of Article 130, clauses 1 and 2. It's not unaware of Article 2, which on their surface have given exclusive views about interpretation and enforcement. Mm. But they've gone, nonetheless, to make this specific provision. Huh? Now, we have a certain maxim of interpretation of statutes, which says, verba generalia, specialibus non derogant. Mm. As a special provisions, special uh, matters, I mean general matters, general mm. words, do not override special words. Huh? So if you have a general provision, mm -hmm. which standing by itself will also encompass the jurisdiction given to a lower court, because verba generalia, special most non-derogant, 
the general powers will be confined to the area which will not intrude into the special power of the special uh, provision. Mm. That is why <laughs> so articles 130 and 2, these are general provisions. And according to this rule, general provisions don't override specific provisions. And so once the specific power about vacancy of seats uh, is given to the High Court, mm. the general powers hanging there mm -hmm. cannot override the special uh, provision. Mm. Otherwise, that special provision will be rendered completely hopeless. Meaning the court, the Supreme Court had no business going into this. Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> they have uh, a kind of, what do you call it, referential jurisdiction. Right. That's to say, this matter, which is, is a vacancy of parliamentary seat matter, is for the High Court. However, if the parties there contend that some legal provision relating to this matter is, unambig uh, is ambiguous mm -hmm. and it's a constitutional provision, then at 132 requires that the High Court will stay the provisions and refer just that issue of interpretation to the Supreme Court. In this case, this was not done. This, this wasn't a, it went straight. Or this was not exploited. It wasn't exploited. It wasn't exploited. And uh, number two, you see, the question of <laughs> even the referral, mm. right, when the issue arises, it doesn't mean that any time uh, it's alleged that there's an issue for the interpretation. The, High Court automatically must stay the same. It will have to consider whether the provision in question is actually ambiguous. Mm -hmm. If in its opinion it is not ambiguous, you can proceed with the case. But the speaker, can, yes. If a party is satisfied, can go to a Supreme Court or supervisory jurisdiction eh, mm -hmm. to quash the view of the, the High Court and order it to refer that issue to it or refer the issue to itself mm. for determination. And after determining it, they send that determination to the High Court and they dispose of the case insofar as uh, the issue requiring interpretation is concerned. Uh, but then the final determination of the matter is from the High Court. Uh, but, uh, but Justice, yes. this is a case where an arm of government, yes. the leader of an arm of government, yes. gave a ruling yes. based on his understanding yes. of what the constitution says. Yes. And then a member challenges that decision. Yes. Clearly, one would say that the Supreme Court was the avenue or the platform mm -hmm. to bring finality to this matter. Yes, but their finality does, I mean, is governed by the same provision. Their finality will come when the court giving that, that, that jurisdiction over that specific matter has difficulty, or the parties have raised a difficult interpretational matter concerning it, they say, oh, okay, this thing is not that clear. So they are bound to refer to the Supreme Court. That's how the Supreme Court comes in. Mm. That's how the Supreme Court will come in. But not ab initio. That's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, just straight away. Is this same constitution that has made that provision? And um, when I was on the bench, we did this. Mm. It was, uh, this is Anato. Huh? Mm. Uh -huh. um, she uh, stood for the primaries of, is it what they do or something? Or can I call it Clotty constituency? Okay, I don't even know the question, but I call it Clotty constituency. All right. Uh, and she was contesting the NDC primaries with a fellow NDC, I think the incumbent. Mm. Uh -huh. 
and she won. Now the incumbent challenged her election as the parliamentary candidate in the high court on the ground that at the time she was uh, elected as the parliamentary candidate, she was not a registered voter as required by the party's constitution. Mm-hmm. You see? So they went to the high court to say that her nomination, her election was uh, null and void, you know. So they were arguing in various ways. Eventually, uh, some, uh, some young lawyer that had a dizzy tamaklo. Yeah, yeah, a tamaklo. Yeah. He brought an application to the Supreme Court challenging the ruling of the High Court. Because the High Court was saying that it was within its position and so on and so on. So on. Right. Some, uh, lengthy ruling. But then when I went through the whole thing, I saw that the substance of the lawyer's arguments, even if they were not directly <laughs> couched that way, mm-hmm. amounted to the the contention that there was an issue of interpretation as to whether uh, in view of Article 94, I think, of the Constitution, mm. which uh, governs qualifications for uh, election to Parliament, whether in, in, in that one should have governed the situation. Mm. And if it did, then of course, uh, the party's ruling could not stand. Because at the time they disqualified her, but she was not Oh, uh, the EC had not yet, was far from... But from open, publishing the, the open, opening the process. Yes. You see? Mm. So when they came down, I said, oh, so, and this was a situation of the need to interpret Article 94. Because is a swim law. Right. You, are, you can have your party constitution, you can even parliament can pass an act and all, all these are subject to the constitution. Mm. So, 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 so if I may ask, I mean, you are, you are, you are on retirement, but... I, I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> so, and this case was cited by this Supreme Court mm. when they threw out the speaker's application to set aside their earlier uh, ruling and directive. Mm-hmm. Uh, they refer to it, and that's very interesting. Well, it demonstrates quite clearly <laughs> that. Oh, sorry. In that situation, this court didn't say uh, the Zanatos uh, opener was wrong to have gone to the high court. Mm. No, he was right to go there. But when the issue of the proper interpretation of uh, uh, as to when a person can properly be said to be disqualified to contest for parliament because of non-registration as a voter mm-hmm. arose. That one was not... Uh, it required the interpretation of Article 94 mm? mm-hmm. vis-a-vis the party's constitution. You know? Mm. So we referred that we said the High Court was wrong to say that I could determine all that issue too. So <clears throat> we stayed the proceedings there and formulated the issue should have referred to us to ourselves. And then subsequently ruled that you know uh, the prop on the proper interpretation it is when the EC mm-hmm. opens nominations. Before you can challenge and not even open only when it has closed, open and closed. Mm-hmm. And you have not registered, but you purport to be a candidate. You can check, they can challenge. So, 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 for example, if if, if, well, if you go to mm-hmm. even register eh, with the EC and they find that you have not registered, they will accept you. Unless, of course, you quickly go and register before the close of nominations. So, 
if I should do some deduction here, yeah. for example, if this case was brought before you, yes, your 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 inclination, your inclination would have been that the matter should go to the high court. Yes, we, should, we would have said that they had they were wrong in coming straight to the Supreme Court, whereas the specific jurisdiction about this specific matter is lodged in the high court so why would the current supreme court panel overlook this and then go, and then go ahead to make this pronouncement well there are decisions <clears throat> i don't know whether they were cited to them um if they had gone by those decisions that are seen quite clearly that they should have said no uh, I like a finger marking. A finger marking was wrong to have come in the first place directly to them. You would have said that. Well, I mean that is to say, um, if they follow the precedents, but in the course of time, and that's the trouble now, because in the course of time, when I was there, there came a certain stage. Uh, I used to tell some. People, somebody will ask me the laws. I said, I must say, I don't know what the law is. Because, you know, today, the principle is laid down this way. It was laid down some years ago. It's changed today. Some other panel will come and, uh, you know, stay the opposite. And this same members later will go back to the other. Mm. Confusion. This, what has happened now? Huh? Mm -hmm. So, there's no certainty in the law. But if you look at it, um, carefully, uh, the weight of judicial precedence on the matter is quite clear. I can give you two examples. I'll give you the Zanator one. Right. There was uh, a, a, a case, I think it's a one. Uh, there's a chieftaincy provision. If you are convicted of a crime of dishonesty or something, you can't be a chief. Mm. So <clears throat> they brought an action against a, a, a chief. They said he had being convicted, so he should be disqualified as a chief. And the Supreme Court said, ah, but this matter is for the chieftaincy tribunals because to it, take involves, a decision. it involves the distillment, the effect is to distill the chief. So that process is given to the uh, uh, chieftaincy tribunals. If they go there and issue of interpretation, I'd like to refer it, but not as they threw it out. Okay. Um, in the case of uh, former Chief Justice Aban, mm. you know, <laughs> uh, there was this defamation case against uh, one MPP. I forgot his name. Uh, the 31 December right. uh, case, mm. it's a holiday case. When they decided it, one uh, lawyer, oh, I don't know, I've forgotten his name. He said that when he was sitting in court, he heard Chief Justice Aban referring to <clears throat> the editorial mm -hmm. of the Daily Graphic. That he was quoting from the editorial, he was quoting a passage from the editorial of the Daily Graphic. But subsequently, when he realized that it was not so, it was rather in some other column. I think his claim was that just abandoned and varied his judgment to refer to the non-editorial mm -hmm. part and that he was being dishonest, uh, he was not fit to be a judge, so and so and so and so. So subsequently they brought an action that CJ Aban was not fit to have been appointed Supreme Court judge. So they should declare that his appointment was not void. Now the Supreme Court looked at it. And they say, well, <laughs> you see, prima facie, the question they brought is whether he was properly appointed in accordance with the Constitution. And so, looking at 132, mm -hmm. clearly, <laughs> you see straight away that the Supreme Court had jurisdiction. Okay. But what did they say? They said the effect of the relief they were seeking was to remove Aban from the bench. And the procedure for removal of Supreme Court judges, Superior Court judges, 146 or so, 
Mm. And so that is what should govern the matter and not Supreme Court. All right. I got the idea. F f f few issues here. I mean, yeah. hopefully tomorrow the, the reason will come. Yes. And as then, I said. And then we'll better understand. If, yes. If the, I read the, and the, I'm convinced. The motivation behind the position that they've taken. <laughs> yes. But until the decision is challenged, this yeah. is what we will have to live with. What do we expect yeah. the Speaker of Parliament to do? Oh, in the face of this decision. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, uh, he's bound by the decision of the Supreme Court. He's bound by it. I have heard the Member of Parliament for South Dai, yes. Rosin Dafi Ameko. Yes. He makes the point that mm. only Parliament can give an effect to the mm. decision mm. by the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Is he right? Oh, of course it's addressed to them. But it doesn't mean that if they fail to comply, they are the only people who can... Uh, the Supreme Court, <laughs> there are processes. Mm -hmm. Um, contempt is there, and it's a high crime. Eh? Can be prosecuted, and uh, you have to suffer imprisonment uh, up to ten years. That is, if the court decision is not complied with. Yes, up to ten years. It's not necessarily ten years, but you must just. There's no option of a fine. Mm -hmm. You must just suffer some term of imprisonment, not exceeding ten years. Mm. And not only that, ten years disqualification from holding public office. If you are president, you are liable to remove her mm -hmm. as president. They are all there. Right. So, so parliament is on recess now. Yes. For example, if tomorrow the speaker says that MPs should report to the house for business yeah. to start, yeah. you expect the four MPs to boldly yeah. walk into the chamber and assume their seats? In line with the Supreme Court decision. Mm -hmm. That is what is... <laughs> governing the situation now. Mm. Yeah. But the interesting thing is, this, that's why, uh, anyway, <laughs> you see, matters, uh, this country, we want to pretend, but politics has entered everywhere. Why do you say so? I mean, I'm coming. Politics has entered everywhere. These politicians, you know how they operate. They are not interested in the righteousness of the, the matter, the correctness, but the party inclination. And that is what they, they, they use. So even somebody can know clearly that what he's standing on is wrong, but he'll push it. And, uh, well, a court is a court. If we persuade it for whatever reasons. I don't know. Mm. Uh, it adopts your view. That is it. Huh? I, before, the, before the ruling came, yes. comments that we read on, on social media comments from social commentators, even politicians. Yeah. Some a bit created the impression that it was going to go the way it did. Yeah. There appears to be some kind of uh, uh, confidence. Mm. People, people, people appear to have reduced their confidence level mm. in the judiciary to mm -hmm. be impartial mm -hmm. in the adjudication of cases. Mm -hmm. Do you, do, do you sense that that is what is happening? Oh, but you people are the authorities in this field. Afro-barometer and all these sort of things. Uh, you, when comments from the public are made, uh, you are the people <laughs> who mm. pick them up, so you know better. I mean, social media, you can just see. Eh? I, I, I don't think we have ever reached a stage where people easily will express loss of confidence in the course as is happening. Mm from Afro Barometer to uh, the local citizen. I mean, on a daily basis. Are these comments not, uh, not, 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 not politically motivated? Some may be, but if an issue is right, it does not matter that some are using it politically. It remains right. See what I mean? Mm. So the question of politics, it clouds the matter, but if people want uh, to stay right, you can isolate the pure legal uh, uh, nuances of the situation and go by them. That is it. So, um, <clears throat> me, as I said, I'm subject to the Supreme Court. Mm. Eh? I was there, I'm, not, I'm no longer there. Right. Even when I was there, I, was subject, I couldn't just do anything. If I did something, Contrary, they could bring an action also. 
Oh, sorry. We <laughs> are not used to. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, it, it, because you've been there before, yes. the question would then be asked. Yes. Whilst, when you were there, yes. is it a case that some of the decisions that we're taking have some influences outside of what the law says? Well, that's anybody's guess. It's not a legal question. Mm -hmm. When the public have been ascertained to have lost massive confidence in the judge, it's a legal matter. Mm -hmm. I don't, the, as I've always said, the courts belong to the citizen. Mm. They are the sovereign owners of Ghana. Sovereignty resides in the people. Mm. And in fact, even the administration of justice, let me read that. The, the, the 1992 constitution, okay. we are just trying to understand. Right. Those who are not convinced, can go and look at the constitution. The mm. constitution says justice mm. emanates from the people and shall be administered for and on their behalf by the judiciary in accordance with this constitution. Mm. So they are the repositories of justice. Mm. The, the courts there are their agents. Mm. And that's where we, we, we lose out from the proper perspective of the constitutional order. We are agents of the people for the administration of justice. And their views matter. But, but, but uh, this mm -hmm. afternoon, before coming here, yes. I, I went through the, 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 the appointment procedure in terms of appointing somebody to yes. the yes. Supreme Court, to yes. the Chief Justice. Yes. Even though it's done by the President, it is, yes. it is, he, 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 he does it yes. in consultation with the Judicial Council, sometimes mm. with the Council, and Council of State, and mm. then mm. approval by Parliament. Mm. So the process is such that there are checks mm. and balances. Why would people think that because certain judges have been appointed by the mm. president, mm. they will tow towards the line of the government in question. Well, let's uh, take uh, one example. Uh, I, have, I have nothing against that judge, mm. as a matter of principle. Right. This judge is taken from the high court straight to the Supreme Court. I don't think he has even done three years in the high court. I'm not aware that any decision of his has been published in any law report. Mm. What then so qualifies? And this person was MPP parliamentary candidate for whole constituency in 2020, I think. Yes. Now, there are so many other judges. In fact, during the trial, the lawyer for the speaker yes. requested that he yes. allowed to recuse himself. Yes, yes. The, the chief justice ruled against that. Yes. Because he was there to interpret the law, in fact, not to tow the, the, the land of any political party. Oh, but, I mean, <laughs> you can, therefore, what you are saying, if you go by that, then no question of bias can ever arise in relation to any officer. Eh? Is, that, is that a realistic <laughs> thing? This... Uh, 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 forces come to play. Now, as I've said, why must that person be hoisted like that? What particularly qualifies what? Over and above his seniors in the high court, in the court of appeal. What is there? Ten years of practice and above. Ten years of practice. In, in what way has he so distinguished himself? You have people who are over 20, 30 something years experience. I mean, let's, let's look at uh, the, the, the brass tack facts of, of a matter and advise ourselves. Because theoretically, anybody can argue anywhere. That's why pretentious positions can be taken and justified in the face of obvious incongruity, dishonesty. This is a trouble. So the danger here for you is that politically exposed persons yes. are to the perception of bias to, as, as it relates to the Supreme Court and the judiciary as a whole. Definitely. But let me qualify it this way. Mm. It's not everybody who has been involved in politics who can be necessarily politically minded. Right. I can say, by speaking for myself, somebody like the late Akoto Ampau, mm. oh, of blessed memory, I can say that as far as I'm concerned, even though 
he was in the president's chambers, he was mm. his lawyer in the election petition 2020. If I had my way and that man was interested in going to a Supreme Court, I would have appointed him because if a legal issue can, he, he will look at it professionally. Mm. Can trust a court power to do that. So uh, the incidents of his politics, uh, you can see from empirical evidence, the way he, man, look, even this LGTQ, uh, then he was mm. <laughs> probably taking a position nobody has him right. to take. And some other media rights, he was... The right to information and the like. Yes, he was doing them, even though maybe against the common mm. interest, but he was doing them. There's another lawyer, like, if he currently... He's a member of parliament. I've never known him. I've never seen him except on social media. Apia Kubi. Yes, Apia Kubi, a member of parliament for Asante Achim. Yes, South. such a person. If I had my way and he was interested in the Supreme Court, I would put him there because he's a brass stack MPP, but very objective minded. Very, very objective minded. But why do you think that the, the, the uh, Justice Gau is not objective? Oh. Well, it depends. <laughs> Look, this man has manifested a certain background. Eh? If you look at uh, Apia Kobi, look at this question of uh, the finance minister, the removal of the finance. Mm. He spearheaded it. Right. It's very strongly and strongly. Eh? Against even, uh, you know, all odds. Mm. Huh? Then uh, he came out not long ago to say that the political system, the electoral system, has been uh, monetized. He, he said it, you know, openly. That's an honest man speaking. He even said he had to use his law practice money to... Uh, help his campaign. Mm. And that was bad. That kind of thing. Mm. You know? I think he even uh, went out to uh, contest as an independent. Uh, so no, he's so, he's so I think he went back. He's still a member of parliament for on the ticket of the MPP and still contesting the upcoming election on the ticket of the MPP. No, but that, uh, I don't know whether he did not. No. Or he mm -hmm. did. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm confusing with another right. man. But, you see, looking at some of these traits concerning him, this mm. is a man who will not be bogged down by the fact that he, he belongs to uh, a party. The MPP. So when you have such things manifesting about somebody, yes, you can see a certain trend or principle. But, Justice, how, 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 how coming? Yes. Uh, you've made me lose my trend. Um, yes, another person... I have in that uh, vein of thought is Ayikwe Otu. Mm. The Ayikwe. former Attorney General. Yes. Very principled man. Although I was shocked that when uh, uh, Kandapa, the National Security Minister, came out <laughs> saying that. Uh, oh, that they should balance their rulings. Yes. I was surprised that he, Ayikwe Otu, was saying that, oh, because he's a layman, he that ah, how? The trend was there, and this man saw it. But apart from that incident, knowing Ayikwe Utu, he's, he, he respects the law. So how do we cure this negative perception? Another one is Gloria Kufu. The former... Yes. And she recently said that the Supreme Court is becoming too predictable in no, the no, rulings. No, no, You are confusing her with so far. So far, yeah, sorry. But, uh, thank you for the correction. Yeah. But when, when we hear such comments that the Supreme Court is becoming too predictable yes. in their rulings, yes. what is wrong with that if they are getting it right? If they are getting it, that's where the, the trouble is. Now, <laughs> let's just wait a minute. What do you think is the reason why the Constitution will say for the adjudication of cases before it, a, min a minimum of five Supreme Court judges should sit on the matter? It's because the matter is very weighty, difficult to handle, and they want uh, the energies of different minds to come 
out and do their best, and, and then the end arrive at a decision. So, I mean, it, it, it's not impossible that, given a certain line of cases, you'll find uh, the court ruling the same way, but not virtually every case, mm. you see. Because in the wake of this present constitution, the MPP brought a number of constitutional actions before the Supreme Court. A string of them were successful mm. against the, the government. Those when you read, you are convinced. Mm. But it was not in perpetuity, virtually in perpetuity. But is that what it did? There came a stage where, mm. you know, decisions were going left and right, you know? You're waiting for winning and some of our victory. Because uh, this is new, so and I'm here now. So, when you subscribe, we are promoting and say, over subscribe to the channel. It's and say, how dear, later, and hot news in Guan and I'm a day. A promo, who you are now, if you want like video, you don't have to share my offer for so now. Will you be here? I will, and some of my course, I will go on the memoir. Also, with me, I share what you have here, and some way, you know, I will comment box me. Mobati, make a view in my next video. Thanks for watching. Like and share the video. You can also drop your comment. Please don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell to turn on the notification.